Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our Answer Mention New Game Minus 4 video, episode 25. And yeah, you can see I can actually be crunch here. And there's really not much I'm going to do because the thing is, at this point, the upgrades are rather small. Like, there's this one, then this one. I mean, I can just choose between them. This is the better one, I think. And this is not actually not good. With Dilation Nerf, that's about going to double my antimatter production in the early part of the infinity run and then give another doubling to antimatter at the um once it gets kind of later on in the infinity run and even with the galaxy i mean it's going to be relatively quick it's only going to take a few hours but it's essentially going to be the same thing as last run so i'm not going to record this i'm just going to do it all off camera because it's essentially the same so I feel like what I will do is maybe once I get everything up to, like, all of these, like, once I get all of them combined, plus these upgrades are more powerful and these upgrades are more powerful. So, I think once I get all of them combined, I will come back and see how much more powerful I am. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back after a while. When I mean a while, I mean a long while. I have finally gotten enough infinity points to get antimatter galaxies are twice as effective. This is big because I even though antimatter galaxies are kind of weak, this is going to make them way stronger. And since I have well it still takes like an hour or so to get to the point where I can get one galaxy point. So, yeah, I um that's not part of it. I probably shouldn't have gotten that upgrade. Whatever. It's it's fine. I'll just get I'll just get these upgrades. I can actually probably get this. I have enough galaxy points. I just don't want to get that last one. So now with galaxies twice as effective, this should speed up the later part of the runs a lot. And also what I've been doing, I've been using like automatic time dimension boosts and automatic tech speed boosts. But the thing is that if I'm trying to be active, I don't want these I don't want these active because if I I can do it faster if I just do it manually. So you can see here, like like I can like bulk dimension boosts. Um and, and all that. So you can see I'm at three galaxies. I'm not, this should be faster. Actually, now I'm at four galaxies. So this is considerably faster. Once I get more tick speed boosts and time dimension boosts, so I'll be a little more careful about it. I could let the automation do it for me, but I'm not exactly sure. I think this is the max amount of tick speed boost. No, I think I can go a little higher than that. Um, yeah, I. I'm not sure this is the max. Maybe I should just get the automation going because this is what I'd normally do anyway. I, I know it's not quite the most efficient because it has to reset everything. Maybe I could just hold D down and that'll speed things up enough. And you can see actually I am. I'm actually getting pretty close to... I, I'm only about... I'm only 28 dimensions away from the next galaxy. I'm not, I think this is faster than, than normal. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. The thing is, like, I have been kind of actively monitoring these runs, kind of. Some sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just weird how I decide to. Maybe I, I think I really shouldn't have automatic time dimension boosts. I really don't need that, and and automatic tick speed boosts. I feel like that's actually slowing me down at this point. You can see now I have 14 dimension boosts. I probably am just gonna wait until I can get all the way to E212 antimatter so I can get the galaxy. And since the galaxies are more powerful, this should be a lot faster than before. Also at this point, this is the point where I can I can get a boost from getting that upgrade. So boom, there there we go. We have maxed out the galaxy upgrades. We're only six orders of magnitude away from the next galaxy. Also while we're waiting, we can look at the statistics for the past infinities. Some have just been more active than others. My fastest is 11 hours and 42 minutes. So it's still not all that quick by any means. But it's definitely quicker. Like if, I, if I'm doing it in, in under 12 hours, that's something. And also it just bought a dimension boost instead of a galaxy. It really should have actually focused on that. But it's, it's only costing me 20 seconds at most. So I'm not really going to complain about that. Because I'm still building up galaxy points. And I think that's way more important. So now I can get this, get time dimension boosts, and get up to 11 of them safely. Here we go, 11, and 
maybe and yeah, I have 12, 13 regular dimension boosts, which means I can get 13 safely. Now I can get all the way up to I, th I think it's 16 Tixi boosts safely. I'll, I'll get 17 because I know at this point it does get I I, I yeah it, it does get a lot. Um, you need you need a lot more to actually progress at at this point. Like you're gonna want every everything because at least before the galaxy the latest galaxy upgrade it it just gets it gets harder and harder to get every galaxy i know i know this is the last galaxy before um galaxy 6 which is the last one because of the weird remote antimatter galaxy that makes no sense but that's what it does i'm up to 16 dimension boosts so i should be pretty good like you can see it's it's, gonna, it's not even that long until I get the next tick speed boost. If I if I strategically disable that, now I can get two tick speed boosts and then get automatic dimension boosts going again. And you can just see how helpful. It's just just a simple three second disable can do. So let's see, 16 dimension boosts, so 16 time dimension boosts. Um, now I can get 17, which means 17 time dimension boosts. I now want to just get up to the next galaxy. It seems even quicker than last galaxy, so this upgrade is definitely making a difference. Even though the galaxies aren't even all that powerful, it's probably because it must be because of the time dimensions. This doesn't look powerful. It's only 1.09 and it's dilation nerfed, but the thing is that um, getting 1900 tick speed upgrades really helps. Like, even though that's, even though this would normally be weaker than the vanilla game in Challenge 5, which makes galaxies weaker, just the sheer number of tick speed upgrades you can get, and also, like, tick speed boosts also give you just free tick speed upgrades. So, yeah, there's just a lot of, of stuff to consider. Like, the galaxies look weak, but they're actually a small boost and how and how good the galaxies are actually makes a big difference that's the that's the thing with new game minus four especially even like new game minus three but especially new game minus four so now what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna try to go all the way up to 23 tick speed boost i can now i can now re-enable automatic dimension boost so yeah this is way quicker than than before usually it would take from four to six galaxies it was relatively quick but it would still probably take half an hour, which is, isn't that bad in like the grand scheme of like how like this this mod is, or even just in the grand scheme of normal infinity runs in New Game Minus Four. But you can just see how much quicker this is. And the thing is that actually six galaxies to infinity would take about two to three hours. So this is way quicker than that. Like I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna push. To E308 from here. I don't I don't think I need to do any resetting. Honestly, the resetting at E306 and E307 antimatter is a big contributor to why it takes so long to reach infinity. I could definitely shave at least a half an hour off on, on the normal runs before the I got the antimatter galaxies are twice as effective upgrade just by disabling resetting at 168th dimensions. So let's see here, E307. 1E308 and Infinity. So you can just see that is way quicker. And also, this is going to give me this achievement where I keep galaxy upgrades on Infinity. This is huge, way bigger than this upgrade ever was. Which this basically means, well, okay, I need to do one more run normally, unfortunately. But once I do keep the galaxy upgrades on Infinity, well, some of them are going to be kind of useless, like these, but just just being able to get, well, this upgrade and this upgrade and this upgrade and this upgrade, like, just getting those upgrades first will immensely speed up the pre-one galaxy point era of Infinity Runs. So, let's see how that's going to be. See in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And I can big crunch here, and now I will keep all of these galaxy upgrades. So you're just gonna see how much faster this is. This is just insane. I'm, I can already start getting galaxy points, and I I could try to actually do a little galactic sacrifice just to 
Give me a little boost to start, but I'm not even sure if that's even worth it. Um, okay, I guess I'll, get, guess I'll get one. Actually, that wasn't the most efficient. I said 138, but then it dropped to 99 right as I clicked it, but that's okay. I feel like that actually is the most efficient strategy to go. Just like a little bump up to 100 galaxy points, because that will uh, make it just a lot faster to reach later parts, just because these... Just because like this galaxy upgrade is so strong, like even if I have all the others, a lot of the others don't even have an effect until I start getting galaxy points. But I think that's the only one I need. I could try to speed up the runs further by trying to do things manually rather than automatically, but I think I'd rather do it automatically. I'd rather it be a little slower and I just don't have to worry about it. Like well, seriously, I don't I don't need to do this. This probably just cuts off like two or three minutes, but. I can probably, I'm guessing I can reach infinity in just like 30 minutes or so, or at least under two hours. And this gives me the multiplier. Well, first I start with E3 antimatter. That'll be kind of useful for um, like, like trying to get the resets. Like after I reset, it'll just help me get back up faster, even though that's not really that important anymore. I also get a multiplier of galaxy points based on fastest infinity. If it's, let's say... If it's two hours, then it's with five halves multiplier two galaxy points. And that's not all that OP. Like, this reward has been really OP in other New Game Minus X mods. Because I think you get it earlier. Like, the infinities are shorter, so you get this achievement earlier. And galaxy points matter more. Like, like here, you go, you're usually going up to, like, a million galaxy points. And, like... Other new game minus X mods, you're only going up to 10,000, and being able to reach 10,000 quicker is huge. Versus, like, it's just not as powerful, like, if you double your galaxy points in this. But it's still going to be a very nice achievement to get, and should speed up runs further. Like, maybe if the runs take an hour with the current setup, maybe they'll they'll drop to 50 minutes with this achievement. Like, that, that's what I'm guessing. And the, I'm looking at other achievements. This is, well, I guess I could try to do Challenge 12 eventually. It'll give me automatic big crunches. I'm not exactly sure if that's possible at this point. I, I will definitely go for that. Like, especially once I start getting more of these upgrades. Like, what I, what I want to do is, the real goal is to get generate infinity points based on your fastest infinity. This is a huge tipping point in all of the other New Game Minus X mods. Because, and in the vanilla game, because you can just like wait a day and instead of just getting galaxy points, you get infinity points. So, yeah, maybe it'll also be that maybe if I can actually complete this challenge, I could actually get infinity points automatically because I can automate full runs. And I guess that's that was that's what makes New Game Minus 4 very different than the other New Game Minus X mods because you can't automate full runs at this point in other New Game Minus X mods mods you do this all manually so i could try to go for challenge 12 as soon as next episode so i i think that's the plan because i would definitely want to get the automatic infinities without even needing this upgrade because i'm right now i'm, I'm 23 infinity points away from getting that upgrade which is kind of a lot especially considering infinities don't really do much i mean they increase these upgrades but it's not all that powerful i guess this upgrade is pretty decent um, this one is weak, especially as the, your runs get faster and faster. I mean, I guess initially it can be decent, but it's not very good. This one is also weak. It's a five times multiple. It's like, it's based on your unspent and infinity points, but it's just a multiplier of first dimensions. Not going to be that powerful. This one may actually be pretty powerful. It's based on infinity points. I feel like that's different than what the vanilla game does. I think the vanilla game actually just gives like a static boost to dimension boosts, but this is, makes a base in your infinity points. And this, if it's a 1.22 times multiplier, that's about equal power to the vanilla game. So, yeah, the plan is next episode, like maybe I'll just try, try to start getting infinity points. This upgrade actually may be a decent upgrade if I'm in an infinity for like hours at a time. I mean, it's weak if you're trying to just, like, do short runs, but if you wait, like, hours, you can get maybe a 100 times multiplier to normal dimensions, even with the dilation nerfs, 
that is going to be like 10 orders of magnitude of antimatter at least. So, like, that would be really useful for Challenge 12. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.